Uh, no, I was 10 years old, actually, when I when I became master. I, I set the record at the time for the youngest youngest American master at 10 years, and I want to say it was like 50 days or something like that. Um, Jeez. I feel, like I, I feel like I did hear about that. I think my mom told me about it. He's like, oh, have you heard? Have you heard of this guy? He's like, he's like 10 years old. Like, Hikaru, like, I, I'm pretty sure she was bragging about you to me. And she's like, why can't you, like, why can't you, like, be that good? Like, you need to, like, study more. Like, I was like, oh, God, like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to have fun. But, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I actually remember that. Okay, so he played knight e5. Okay, so I will take. Now I'm going to go knight c3. I'm probably going to play bishop d3 and f3. Maybe bishop e3 and castles if I can. Um, and we'll see. We'll see what he wants to do here. So, um... Uh, it's not about the agent not willing to do this. Um, let's see, so he plays um, plays knight f6. I'll play bishop d3 here. I can play here. I can also take and play bishop b5. Um, I don't want to really play an end game, so I'm going to make the check instead. So now he probably has to go back to be blocked with a knight. I just take the bishop. Um, I think he has to go back with the bishop. So he does. So I take. I'm going to castle. Takes with the queen. Okay, so I'm going to play f4. Try to open up the center here, I think. Like... I guess he's going to play e6 or g6 here, um, and we'll see what he's going to do. He plays b5. I think that's a little bit too slow. I'm going to play f4 here. If b4, I'm just going to take the pawn. Knight g4, e6, and I win Win because the queen is cut off. Um, he takes. I can play e5, and if he moves the knight, then I take the pawn. Uh, he can play b4, however, so... Um, let's play e5 here. I mean, if he moves the knight, I just take the pawn. I'm much better. If he plays b4, I guess I take. He takes. I guess I take and I take. It's not really clear. Not so easy to play at any rate. A chessboard on the ceiling, yeah, chat. I'm actually, I'm not gonna be reading chat that much, so I'm gonna keep the chat on my main monitor, because if I put on a second monitor, it looks like I'm looking away, and then it's like, it's like, well, okay, he's cheating or something. So I'm probably gonna be ignoring chat mostly, um, since I've put on the same same monitor. So I take, so he's gonna take. As I take. I take, this is not a great position. He's actually playing very well here. So he casts, so I take. I guess I have to play like C4 to support the pawn. Not a great position here. Um, okay, Bishop D6. He should have gone Bishop F6 to attack on the diagonal and put pressure on the pawn. Um, I guess I go Queen F3 and I want to go Rook D1, guard the pawn, guard the pawn, push the pawn. No Rook on the square anymore. So I take. I'll play Rook D1. I'm gonna play um, rook d3, probably rook g3 here. Try to attack. Okay, rook g3. Play h4, h5, h6, queen f6. Lobster pins are made on g7. Wasn't that a free queen? What? It's a free queen, isn't it? Let's go h5. Same thing. h6, queen f6, and checkmate on g7. He was actually probably winning here until he played queen takes c3. Because he could have played, um, could have played like rook e8, h5, and then queen e4 to trade the queens. And my attack was very slow. He just blundered the queen on c3. Um, but now he's, he's just lost, I think. Yeah, Chad. So I can't, I can't see, I can't see it. That's why actually why I'm looking up in the sky because I'm, I'm visualizing in my head what's going on. Um, 
he played a5 okay so i go h6 same thing i want uh, not there sorry i want to go checkmate queen f6 is maybe a little bit better here um it's uh it's impressive when it's more impressive when his opponent is blind too yeah uh -huh. good one live board on the ceiling yeah chat live board on the ceiling no it's just i look up when i'm visualizing so so like you, you just look up at the sky and you just visualize it manually um i plays what f5 okay i guess i go queen e5 to checkmate him on g7 rook f7 i think i take i take and it's winning yeah it's winning it's winning although actually after rook f7 i might be able to play rook f5 pawn takes rook g3 check king f8 queen h8 king e7 and take the rook two i think that works okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be flash here and play rook f5 why not um Void Boy is quite decent at chess chat. Yeah, he's very decent at chess. Um, GF5, okay, I make the check. So King F8, I go Queen D6 check. King E8, I play Rook G8. Rook E7, I go Rook G7, Rook E8. Rook E8, Queen F6. Okay, check and Rook, yeah, Rook F8, right? and yep there we go all right so that's one so i'll rematch him let's go again i think we'll play like a best of four series here whoops uh is it still right in obs no it's not right um one second okay it's his move right let me just readjust this board um let's move this wait no sorry this is right okay and minimize this and put a layer over and all right and now we should be good okay so he plays e4 okay um let's play e5 let's play knight c6 d4 i will just um just take is this knight d4 okay let's play knight f6 those of you who are actually chess players you'll notice that like void boy why is he playing a real opening he's like playing he's playing like a real chess player this is this is insane um okay so bishop b4 so now i threat i pin the knight and the pawn um and i want to play d5 at some point okay queen f3 is not the main move though um okay let's play d5 here takes um, I'm gonna gambit a pawn here. I'm gonna castle and play bishop g4 and like rook e8, and the king is very much stuck in the center. Okay, and yeah, now he's he's lacking development here, I believe. I think I should be doing very well here. Oh, he sees the mate idea. That's really annoying. Okay, let's go queen e7 check. I'm gonna finish development, put the rooks in the center. Um, the bishops are really good here, they stop everything. Okay, let's play rook d8. I guess rook e8 next move. So I think my position is pretty good here. I think I'm doing well here, but I could be wrong, of course, chat. I'm looking at stockfish on my uh, stockfish monitor on my roof. Yeah, chat. Yeah, I've got like 10 monitors just like on, on my ceiling, right? Yeah. But no, actually, even when I play over the board chats, I look up at the, at the ceiling quite a lot. Um, so he goes queen c4, so I can play here. I can put the rook here. Um... I think I'm trying to calculate this line. Knight d5, queen g4. Knight takes e3. Let's play knight d5 and hope that I'm not blundering something here. I don't think I'm blundering anything, or I hope I'm not blundering anything. 
Because my point is, if he takes, if he, if he takes my bishop, I take, he takes, I take, he blocks, I take, he takes, I take, and I think I win. I think I win material here. Um, thank you to who, who somebody, somebody, somebody resub. Thanks. Um, thanks. I'll, I'll talk about it afterwards. Um, um, no, void boy is playing. Play, I mean, okay. This game, he's going to lose stockfish on the ceiling. So obvious actually chat. I posted in my discord the other day, a picture of my ceiling. So there is nothing. Thank you to psycho Steve for the sub. Um, he didn't move yet. 95. Um, Bishop e2. Wow, that's a good move. I'm going to take a gamble here. This probably doesn't work, but I'm going to gamble. He's going to take, I'm going to take, he's going to... Oh, nobody can take this. I think my line is takes, takes queen e3. If takes, takes, takes rook e8, threaten the checkmate. The king is stuck in the center. Queen stops him from castling. He goes like queen c4, and then I go rook d2. I think that should be winning, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm nowhere near certain. Um, Uh, can I use stockfish? Can I put stockfish on your board? I mean, actually, I, you guys are actually, you know what? I'll do that. Well, I think I want to play him two more, so I'll do it two more. Okay. So, so, so on the next, next two games, I'll turn it on on the other one. I'll block it, but I'll, I'll turn it on. So you got, that's actually a good idea. You guys, so, so you guys understand what's going on a little bit better. Um, oh, it's not good Four. I guess I, I mean, I guess I have to take, I can also play this one. I'm going to gamble and play Bishop C5. I'm actually losing this game. I'm down a piece and I'm losing. I mean, I guess I have multiple threats here. Still not clear though. Still very, very messy. Um, I'm throwing intentionally. No, I'm not throwing. Um, let's make a check. Got to go to F1, right? And I'm also way up on the clock chat, so I'm definitely not throwing. Okay, I take, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to win the rook or win the knight. Maybe I go rook d6, rook f6, put pressure on the king and the queen. Okay, rook d1. I guess I just take. He takes, I take. Bishop d3. So, okay, he's trying to cheese me. He wants me to blunder queen c3, bishop h7, and he wants the glory victory. But I, I'm not going to throw, so I'm not going to play that. Um, I think I'm going to go rook f8 here. He, he's, he's going for the cheese. He's, he's hoping that I take, and then he takes, I take, and then he can take the queen on c3. That's what he's hoping for. Um, knight e2. Okay. Um... I think now I go for my original idea. Try to put the rook here to win, to win the game. Okay, queen h3. Uh, that's, he should be getting checkmate now. I make, wait, no. Um, check there, check there. No, I think I'm gonna play rook f6. And if he moves the bishop up, I think I... 
I think this is mate, right? And I just take. And it's king of stock, I think. Unless, I, unless I'm... Mi no, I'm not missing anything? Okay. So let me just adjust that chat. Let me put, pop up the um, evaluation lines. Let me just make sure the window looks a little bit better. Let me click rematch. Um, let's see, how do I do this? Uh, audience. Actually, no, I'll turn off the line. Just, you just need to see this board, right? Um, just the, the bar is good enough. <clears throat> okay, so that should look pretty good. And now I'll just... All right. And let's see, is he still there? Does he want to do two more? Um... No, he's much better. Does he want to do two more? I challenge him. Uh, I, w I want to play two more if he's still there. If he wants to do two more. Uh, where could he have won? So, okay, I'll show it on this board if you... Or, oh, no, I guess not. Okay, chat. Let me make sure it's still good. It's still good. Okay, let me layer it. Put something over it. Okay, there we go. All right, so I am white. Okay, so I will play something different. I will go D4 this game. Um, I will play C4. Let's go knight F3. Okay, I will just block with the bishop. We'll probably trade. Okay, let's take. It should be okay with the bar, right? You guys see the bar, right? Think of level three squirrel for the tier one. Okay, queen off six. I'm gonna try to be aggressive and play in the center here. So now I finished my development. I should be very happy here. Still not clear though. <sighs> Voy always moves his queen out too early. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because chat, even when I play real games, you'll see even in the middle of games when I try to calculate lines, like I'm visualizing. And so like, I just naturally, I look up. Or if I, there are like three looks I do. I either go like, I look up at the ceiling, like a like a weird kind of like person. Or uh, or the other ones I do is like, I go like that or like that. Or um, I go like that. Those are kind of the general looks that I have when I'm trying to calculate. Um, goes queen a5. Okay, um, I think I'm going to play knight. I think I'm going to go knight d2. Knight f6, I castle. Maybe I can play rook e1. I can also try to be really tactical here and play... I can be very tactical, maybe, in this position. Like, play d5, takes rook e1. No, I'm just gonna play rookie one here. Don't be crazy. Um, yeah, but he blunders now d5, and now he has problems on this um, in the center. Plays knight d8. I'll play knight d4 here. Oh, the eval is going down. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it just that just shows chat that I'm not as good when I can't see the board. I'm still decent, but okay. Now I can. I'm gonna try to go for glory. I'm gonna play the Greek gift here. I'm gonna play Bishop H7, Knight G5, and bring the Queen out. And I don't know if this is good. Computer might say it's really bad. Actually, I don't know. Um, we'll see. I think it's okay though, but we'll see. Um, 
Okay, but now... Ah, but he can... Oh, he can move, though. Okay, I still should play it. Let's play it anyway. I think this is good. I'm not removing the bar chat because a lot of chat that's watching they 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 don't completely understand what's going on. So I'm I'm leaving the bar up on the other tab and the other other browser. Um, still not clear. I don't know what's going on here. Very messy position. His king is in the center here, but I have good good pieces. Um, I like my position, but it's very very hard to play. Queen C5. Um, I think I'm winning here. I think I take, he takes, I take, he takes, I take, here, I take, and I take, and I win. Be I think this, this should be winning, right? Takes, queen of seven. Should be winning. Should be winning, but maybe I'm missing something. Check. If he goes here, I make a check and I win this queen. If he goes here, I just take with the fork again. Same thing. He takes and I take. I think it's winning. Check. Um. Good check. It goes back now. I think it's checkmate, right? I hope it's mate. I hope I'm not blundering a queen or something here. I hope this is mate. The pawn's on a7 and c7. He never moved the two pawns. No, he didn't. Okay. Whew. I was a little bit worried that maybe he had something. Check the analysis, please. Um, okay. Check the analysis. Um, No, it was always winning for me, it looks like. It was always winning. So I'll play one more. Yeah. We'll do one more. Let me um let me put a layer over it again as usual. Okay, we'll do one more chat. One more with Void Boy. This is actually not easy because he's not blundering. He's not blundering at, he's really just not making many mistakes. Um yeah. Okay, he goes E4. I will play Okay, I'll play a Sicilian this game. Okay, let's push the pawn. Let's take knight of six a six I guess go e six okay I'm gonna play knight bd seven yeah, I think as you guys can tell from the opening, Boy Boy definitely, he's he's finding his rhythm. He uh, he clearly played chess as a kid, there's no doubt. Um, let's go knight e5. Queen f3 was not a good move, actually, because now I fork the, the bishop and the queen. Is Boy Boy un, un, uh, underrated according to his rating? Um, yeah, thank you, Chess Bay, for getting a sub to Harishiva. I mean, he's. He's much better than 1400 from what I've seen. So, yeah. Rook C8. I probably should have taken. Um, he plays F4. This is still not a good position, though. I can 
play here. I can play here. I can also play here, maybe. I'm gonna play this one. I mean, I guess he can go, he can go back to blow squares. He can also, I think I'll play, let's play H just here. Try to trade the Bishop for the Knight. If he comes back. I mean, I guess I can play, um, I can play this, remove the defender. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, e Rob next. I mean, I mean, I think I've, I found the best guy right off though. I mean, boy, boy, he's, I mean, he clearly hasn't, he hasn't played in a long time, but like most of the moves that, that E-Boy, or not E-Boy, sorry, most moves that Boy Boy plays are, uh, are very, very good. Very classically good. Like if, if, if any of like any actual chess players were watching this, they'd be like, this is a real chess player. They would say, they, they, <laughs> they, they, they would say that, um, <laughs> Yeah, if any actual chess players are watching this, they would they would say like this guy's a real chess player for sure. So this is a pawn. Does he have a tactic? Does he have a tactic? Okay, I guess I take. He's gonna take back. It's a pawn, but it's not a great pawn because he can he gets very fast development here on both sides. Oh, so he's trying to cheese me again. He wants me to hang the hang the rook if I take the knight. Not a bad move, but not best, I think, because I think I can just play I think I can play e4 and a, and a knight guards the pawn. And he's down a pawn, I think. Not easy to play though. Okay, queen g3. Okay, if I push the pawn, he just takes. Not an easy game. Not an easy position. No, but chat, I mean, it's not really that. It's that um, a ceiling cam went right. It's not really that. It's that he's not actually blundering. Yes, chat, this is Boy Boy. Yeah, this is Boy Boy playing. But it's more that he's not blundering at all. He's he's not blundering, so I actually have to be a little bit careful. Uh, music is too loud. Oh, well, yeah, but I can't turn the music because then I would have to see OBS, and I, I'm not going to do that. So after the game. Um. Okay, I guess I play knight d5. I think that's the right move. I hope it's right. Um. This is just a tough position because the problem is white can castle and develop. I can't really get my king out of the center here because if I move this, he takes. This is not easy, actually. Although maybe if he castles, maybe I can play a g5. Yeah, takes a 93 with a fork. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I think this works. Yeah, I, I hope it works. Oh no, but he can take on e4. Oh no. Oh, he can maybe take, sorry, he can maybe play takes. 
takes and he has some knight f6 check. I still have to go for it. Maybe takes like with bishop e7. No checks on either square. And I still am winning a rook. Okay, he takes on h6. So now it should, it should be winning site. Okay, take. And now. No, actually, now I should push the pawn because now the pawns are all guarded very nice. And the bishop guards this and the pawns guard each other. This should be winning. I think it's winning. Okay, Bishop g5, I think. I I hope I'm not hanging because I've got a rook, right? So I have a rook. I've got a rook, yeah. I've got a rook on h8. I hope I do. Yes, I do. Okay, good. H3. Um, just play E3. I'm gonna try to again use the pawns, connect them, and just. And now I think I start to push him back, because now I can play this, and then I play this, and the knight has to go, and then he loses this one. I think. Ah, but he's got 94. Although my rook cuts the. He doesn't have this fork. If I push, I believe. I think. I think this is okay. I hope it's okay. Um, I deserve an Oscar. No, like the thing is, it's hard because actually I'm reading the chat. So I actually, I don't have the position 100%. I've got it like 85, 90%. But because I'm reading the chat, like my mind is also drifting a little bit. So I actually am having to be a little bit careful. Okay, but now he allows this. And now he gets forked. And now I think I go here and his knights are hanging eventually. Take. As long as I don't last a fork, he's got two knights, I think, on the board. Takes. My rook is on. Oh, wait, no, my rook's on, on b2, not c2. So I move a king. Oh, I meant to go rook, uh, rook d6 check. And now I just take, and now I just take. Um, Go here. And that's the game. Um, that was actually quite difficult. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, if I was just focusing 100% on the game, like I had an actual blindfold and I wasn't actually like trying to keep up with chat a little bit, it would have been, it would have been a lot easier. But because I was actually trying to read chat somewhat at the same time, I actually did not, I, I more or less had it, but it wasn't like 100% set. So, um, so, oh my, oh wait, what? Oh my gosh. So chat, that's why you don't read chat because I'll tell you what happened there. You guys want to know what happened? I thought I had a pawn. I thought I had this pawn on E5. I thought I had a pawn on E5. Oh my gosh. I thought I had a pawn on E5. I didn't have a pawn on E5. Okay, I'll play two more. Let me put a layer up again. Um, yeah, let's, let's do two more. Okay, this is good. New layer up. Okay, so I'm white. Uh, let's play C4 this game. I thought I had the pawn on e5. I didn't have a pawn on e5. Okay, let's go knight c3. Let's go g3 here. Let's take. Let's go here. Let's just take. So far, very normal opening from my opponent. Boy Boy's playing a good opening. I'm I'm not no chat. If if I if I was ignoring chat completely, then I then I would have no issue. But because I'm like trying to semi read chat as well, like it actually I don't have like more or less I have it, but I'm not 100% concentrated solely on the move. So it's not, I mean, you're assuming I'm acting, but I'm actually not acting. Because when you're trying to do two or three things at the same time, you can't just keep the whole board in your head because you're not calculating. Okay, so I'm gonna go D3, I have E4, I go Knight H4 and I win the Bishop. Okay, so see now I'm, now if I ignore chat, now, now you'll see me actually like, now it'll probably be a lot easier. Um, okay, now I go Knight C4. Idea to play Rook B1, put pressure on the pawn on B7. Come on, that's not a nice move to play. That's actually, that's a very good move. Okay, let's go D4. Let's 
Not a good position. This pawn cuts off the diagonal here. Okay, b5. Okay, I go knight e3. Hit the bishop on f5. Um, I think I'll develop this rook. Now I attack this. Now I do this. Try to open open up some stuff here. Open up this file. Okay, I'll take. Okay, maybe you should take him with the pawn, but rook takes is still okay. I'm gonna put the rook back, attack the pawn. I think I'm going to play queen a4 here. Attack the rook and attack the knight. If he goes back, maybe move the knight somewhere. Try to attack this rook again. If I push, I attack the rook. If he goes here, then I go here. And my pawns are... I think I'm winning. I hope. Rook b6, c5. Yeah, it should be winning, I think. What was the blunder? Yeah, see, now I pop up chat. I'm going to lose the position. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys what the blunder is after the game. So I don't want you guys pop up. And the next thing you know, I, I'm, I forget that I'm missing, like, I'm missing, I'm missing a pawn. Um, so, so yeah. I've got a monitor attached to the ceiling. Yeah, chat, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, now this should be, uh, this will be called a fork. You have two pawns connecting. He's going to lose something that's worth more than one pawn. My pawn's on D4, so this should just be winning. Should be winning. It should be winning. Don't overreact. Why why am I looking up? Because when I visualize, it's just how I visualize naturally. Like I could look straight and do it too, but it's just I naturally, when I start thinking, for whatever reason, when I'm visualizing my head, I just look up like that. Uh, XTC is in my basement. <laughs> yeah, it's just how I visualize. A lot of chess players do the same thing. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Do people do, like, I feel like if you're just thinking, like, you're trying to think about something that happened, like, you're thinking about something you have to do at work, like, ha, ha, don't people, like, generally look away somewhere? You don't just, like, look straight at your monitor or something, right? Oh, everyone does it? Okay, chat. Okay, everyone does it? Okay, yeah. Okay, I didn't deny it right, chat. Um, has your OTB opponent ever said stop looking up? <laughs> no, I mean, everybody does it, though. Everybody does it. Um, everybody does it. I close my eyes. Yeah. Um, okay, so he didn't move, right? He still didn't move. Yeah, XQC is taped to my ceiling. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, Magnus stares into space sometimes. Yeah, everybody does it differently. Um, uh, <laughs> why not rook before? I think if he goes rook before, I take. So, or sorry, that's those arrows are not very good. I think if rook before, he loses. So now I take. I just have to remember since he is, he has, he's been thinking for so long, I have to remember where my bishop is. It's on c1 though. So I'll go bishop a3. Oh, because my rooks are still on f1 and a1, I believe. I hope they are. Really hope so.
Typically, when, what's that? Typically, when people look up to the right or left, they're trying to tap, tap their imagination. Okay, maybe. Okay, place F5. Oh, wait, that's a blunder, right? Check. Let's check and I win the rook. Right? Let's just check and I win, yeah. I think. Because the king has to move and I take the rook. I think. Okay, yeah, okay, nice. Just winning. Knight d4, okay. I think I play rook d1. Attack the knight he can't take because I take. Yeah, okay, I'm just up a rook in a piece and it's completely winning here. No, boy boy's not blind, of course. Um, there's knight c6. Can't I take? That's a free knight, I think. I hope it's free. I think it's, yeah, it's gotta be free, right? Yeah, it's free. Okay, take. And I take. And now I take. And now I check. And now I check and I collect the rook as well. And okay. Okay, all right, we'll play one more chat. One more, one more. One more. Let's do one more. One more. Make it an even six. One more. Um Yeah, this is Boy Boy from League of Legends chat. Yeah, one more. Let's go again. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Pog and chat. Yeah. Okay. This game, I'm going to play the French defense. Um, let's play D5. He takes. I will take back. Guess Bishop D6 is fine. Okay, he makes a check. I think I block with the knight. Yeah. Okay, I castle, finish my development very quickly. Plot twist, Ikar is playing white as well, yeah. No, this is, I mean, I, I know you guys think I'm acting or something, but I'm not. Like, since I'm actually reading chat on and off, this actually is quite taxing. Because I'm, I'm not solely focused on, um, on on the board. If I was focusing 100% on the board only, it would be uh, it, it would not be mildly challenging. But because I'm kind of trying to multitask and, and, and follow chat a little bit at the same time, it's actually like, it is actually kind of taxing mentally. I'm going to play knight f5 here and attack the bishop on h4. Um, we get it, you're good at chess? No, I mean, it's, I'm not saying I'm good at chess. Not at all. I'm just saying it's not, everyone thinks I'm acting and I'm not acting. It's, it's just not, it's not that easy. Played knight of five. Okay, let's play um, c6, guard the pawn. What did I have for lunch? I didn't eat lunch today. Um, can I play without a queen? I could. Point the camera to the ceiling. There's nothing on the ceiling. There's some holes that I have to get patched up because I had a water leak like a month ago, which is not good. Um, I guess I'll play rookie eight here. Six monitors on the ceiling, yeah, yeah, exactly, chat. Okay, so I will just take, and I will take the pawn. And I should be doing pretty well here. What the, what, how did he find rook g1? Okay, I take. I'm probably winning, but this is actually very tricky. He's got he's got some big attacking ideas here on the king side. It's not not trivial. Takes the king. Looks like a bishop f8. This is not good. 
It's not good at all. Okay, I think I'm gonna just chuck some materials, play off five. He's gonna take, I'm gonna go queen off six and hope there's no trick for white. I hope. Okay, I still play queen off six here anyway, as though he took and then played this move. So I, we reached the same position, sorry. Um, so I play it the same way as though he took originally and then I attacked. Um, and I hit this. But now he hangs the pawn in d4. I'm gonna move the knight, I guess. What am I looking at? I'm visualizing them in my head as I stare at my white ceiling with a bunch of yellow lights just blinding me. Um, Where's his king? His king is on. Oh, his king is on D1. I should have taken the palm of check. I thought his king was. Oh, I thought his king was on C1 here. Okay, so. Double my rook son. Play rook here and rook here. Five, so now I can just queen g5 is a bad move because now I trade the queens. He should have put the queen and tried to attack. Now I go rook here and I should just be winning because without queens here, he just has less material and he loses the game. How many boards can I do blindfold at the same time? I mean, I did 15 once, I maybe can do like five ish. Um, I mean, five I can do for five, five to ten. Pro oh, I gave knight a five. Oh, oh no, I still have rookie six, I guess. Yeah, I can do like I can do like 15, yeah. 15 is nowhere near the world record though, so it's um Yeah, how is this guy 1357 exactly, chat? Like I mean, he's he just hasn't really played much chess in many years, but as you guys can tell, I even argue his 1400 USCF rating, his over the board rating is is way too low that he should be like 16 1700 for sure. Um cuz he plays a lot better. Yeah, I mean his his actual over the board ranking was 14 is I think he stopped at 1407 or something, but he's so much better than that. It's like it's kind of crazy that he's 1400 cuz he's uh he's much better than that, like much better. Now unfortunately he loses when he takes I I think the knights get forked here. Yes, I mean, I just take, right? I take. Wait.
Okay, I got an AP5. All right, chat. That was pretty terrible. There was a king on D1, wasn't there? I'm such an idiot. There's a king on D1. Let me see. Yeah, there's there's a king on D1. Like, oh my gosh. I thought the king. Um... Yeah. I'm no way I'm playing seriously. No, I'm I'm not playing seriously, chat. But um, but I, I he's not blundering. Like normally people make mistakes, and he's not hanging stuff for free. But um, let me. I think I think I'm good for now. I think I'm gonna stop. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna show a little bit of analysis on this. Um, uh, let's let's just show, show some analysis. I can I can just change the layout one second. Um, so yeah, so I'll I'll show some analysis now. So this game was was very good. Um, for the most part, oddly, I don't think I was doing very well here. Um, maybe he could have played knight of five actually. And I thought this was very dangerous. The point being that in this position, if he um. The point being that in this position, if I move the bishop back to f8 to guard the pawn, he goes check. I can't take the knight because of the pin. I move the king and then he goes knight f7 check and he wins my queen. Um, so I thought this move, yeah, no, no worries. You're very welcome, boy, boy. That was um, that was hardcore, honestly. Um, like really hardcore. Like you're by far and away. I honestly think he's uh, he's the best. I mean, he's the best streamer I've seen by far. Like it's it's really not even close. I mean, honestly, like. 1357 is like is laughable wait what's that what why don't i what why don't i get boy boy bond in a discord chat i don't know does he want to join or not let me let me see i mean i don't know let me see does he want to join does he want to join or not it's up to him um uh, hello hey what's up Picard? yo how's it going hey good games man oh i was sweated dude i was trying so, so I have a question since, cause we played, I think it was like two days ago now, right? When it was like early yeah. in the morning, like yep. how much chess have you played since then? Uh, I only played like uh, the few matches I played on stream. I made a new, uh, I made a new account and I was just playing like three minute chess. I think you, yeah, you're, you saw some of it. Um, so I probably played like 20 games since then. Okay. Cause like you were like, you were crushing it when I was, when I was watching you this morning, like you were just, you were playing very, very good chess. So like. It's, oh, it's weird you. for me because I did I mean I, I like full disclosure I like I looked up your rating on on on, on the website um, yeah and, and like it shows you like reaching 1400 and then just stopping oh you mean my uh, like actual chess rating yeah yeah I mean like your real like your US chess rating yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no rating. I think I was when I was when I was a kid I think I was yeah I, I got like 1400 and then I like got addicted to video games and stuff, so I just like stopped playing chess tournaments. But I actually, I actually really, really liked it. I just felt like, um, I just felt like I wasn't improving at the rate where like it would actually matter. So I kind of got discouraged, I think, when I was a kid. So I just like, I think I stopped playing, uh, also because of that. But I really love, I really love chess like my whole life. So mm -hmm. it's been really fun to to play more and get back into and stuff and. and for like the chance to play against you like that's like crazy like i never would imagine that but yeah it's, it's a lot of fun yeah well i'm i'm assuming since you're you're so good at league you have to be fairly fairly comp well competitive or like you've got that like wanting to be really good at something i assume <laughs> oh yeah for sure like i, I always want to be the best and okay. on league like mm -hmm. on league i can compete for that but you know on chess you know it's it's a little it's a little harder for sure <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, but the reason I bring that up is specifically because, like, with chess, I think uh, the the amount of work that's required, unlike unlike most video games, is like, I mean, it's just so much more. I think you have to like spend so much time studying, then playing, and like, and then when you like you stop sure. improving, you have to keep going and and all those things. So, I mean, I For think you sure. probably made the the right decision. And you still have to like study so much, like all the time, right? Even though like you're literally like one of the best in the world by far. Yeah, so it's like, um, I guess the difference is in, in top level competitions, most of the chess that we play, everyone knows their opening phase extremely well. So it's like, mm -hmm. for example, against you, I was playing all sorts of random openings, but against other top yeah. players, most of the openings that I played, I wouldn't be able to play against them because everybody has studied it so thoroughly with the computers. And so mm. most of us, we have like one or two openings and we just look at so many variations and it's probably like move... 15 or move 20 at least before we see something new on the board that we haven't looked at like um in the last couple yeah, of years that makes 
that makes a lot of sense for sure like i remember when i was a kid and i was trying to improve um my mom bought me like these chess books and like yeah a bunch of them weren't openings and i would read a little bit but then honestly i just got i just got bored and i'd be like i just want to play like pokemon and then i just like stopped reading mm -hmm. and i feel like if yeah i feel like I, I never actually tried to like learn like openings and variations and stuff like that i, I feel like i have a i feel like at least for like my level I, i'm pretty confident like my like ability to like read a situation and stuff but, like i don't think i have like a good uh like i just i just go for like na like moves that feel natural you know like i just try to like develop my pieces mm -hmm. like so like, like let, let me ask you and, a question like, like then that. so mm -hmm. in I, I forget which there were there were a couple of games but like when we played this game with e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 d4 yeah do you uh do you have you played that before uh okay so oh so with the okay um i guess yeah, you, I mean, you can just I'm, you can just look at my stream and yeah I'm, I'm looking at it now i'm looking at it now um yeah i think uh i've, I've definitely played situations like that okay because this is like this is actually a major opening this is like the the, the scotch is what it's called the scotch opening oh um, really i didn't i didn't know that but it just it feels right usually so yeah that, that's is what it, i was is asking it like the best line of play mm -hmm. or like one of the best so like normally um there, there are three main moves like this move two is actually this opening is played probably the most in top level chess and mm -hmm. either white moves the bishop to b5 the bishop mm -hmm. to c4 or pushes the pawn to d4 so yeah. if you move the bishop to b5 that is uh, called the rui lopez defense mm -hmm. if you move the bishop to c4 this is called the italian opening mm -hmm. and if you play d4 this is called the, the scotch okay okay so there are three you, moves you, mm -hmm. and they're all they all have like their strengths and weaknesses right um they're all pretty they're all they're all equally good i i think at the top level people normally move the bishop out but mm -hmm. to be fair growing up up until probably i was about um 2200 or even 2300 slightly after i reached the master level i always played so when you were like six years old uh no i was 10 years old actually when i when i became master i i set the record at the time for the youngest youngest american master at 10 years and i want to say it was like 50 days or something like that um sheesh i feel like i i feel like i did hear about that i think my mom told me about it he's like oh have you heard have you heard of this guy he's like he's like 10 years old. like hikaru like I, i'm pretty sure she was bragging about you to me and she's like why can't you like why can't you like be that good like you need to like study more like i was like oh god like i don't know man like i'm just trying to i'm just trying to have fun but yeah <laughs> I, really I think funny. i actually remember that that that's that's really funny but it's it's also because i think when i broke the record i took the record from somebody who was uh who was from the bay area which i, I think you're from there originally right yeah wait who it who do you know who it was it was uh vinai bot that guy sounds familiar he's still out there but but yeah he had the record for the youngest uh youngest master at the time so um that's crazy that, that, that's why i also Wait, how made good? plays then mm -hmm. um so this is like a, a random random story but yeah i went to like a chess tournament when I was a kid i think it was like the cal state championships or something like that mm -hmm. and i met this kid and my me and my me and my parents like met his family and we were just like hanging out and um we were just like talking and it was like kind of chill i didn't really know like anything about him but he was like a nice guy and then it turned out he was uh you know um daniel narodisky <laughs> wait is that a joke or is that a serious question i have to ask first wait wait which part uh do i know daniel it's a, narodisky it's, okay yeah so you do right yeah he's like a he's like hella he's like a beast right i mean i've, I've played him many many times on stream so so yeah i, I know him quite well <laughs> oh, okay i didn't i guess i didn't catch those but yeah so like when we were kids like we were at the same tournament and and then he like i think that i think he actually won the whole thing i think mm -hmm. he actually won the whole championship after like i was just like hanging out with his family for a little bit it was so random and then my and then my mom always was like you just gotta be like daniel they're a disky and i was just like i'm trying man i'm doing my best like i can't i can't win it's hard that yeah, that's that's that. comical that's that's really really comical because if you watch my streams i've played i've played daniel many many times he's uh He's a very strong grandmaster now, so yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. I, I know, I know how, I know how accomplished. Actually, I never caught that, so that's pretty funny. Yeah, I, I gotta, I, I gotta tune in next time for that. Yeah, yeah, that, but but of course you're right. He was he was very talented. So again, it's not not comparable. And and I mean, I think everybody when they when they're young, like they have different points where they like kind of hit the wall. But I I did have one question. 
which is mm -hmm. you said your mom bought you chess books, right? Yeah. So, like, if you were growing up now, do you think it would be easier since they're, like, just on the internet, you can find all these, like, you can even study openings very easily on, on websites. Do you think it would, it would be different? Oh, yeah. I think for sure. Like, I think especially the fact that, like, chess has become, like, so much more gamified, like, online chess and, like, you know, like, literally I could play, like, a game um, and then just, like, hit the analysis button and just, like, look through and, like, see the suggested moves and, like, see like the different ratings like that's so like interesting like when i was playing last night on stream and i was just like i was just thinking about the implications i was like wow like i could actually like try to like learn from all this like all these resources and i feel like when i was a kid like it was hard because like it's not like it's not like i had like actionable progress so like i would i would try like i, I actually did put an effort like i would read some of like the books i tried to like understand like how to improve but like it was just like i couldn't really like put it into practice like besides like to the level that i i got to like whatever i i reached like 1400 or whatever but like mm -hmm. without without like without like a really means to improve which i didn't really have back then um it was it was difficult but yeah i think for sure like with online chess and like how how much resources and stuff is out there it definitely feels like it's it's a better environment for for just learning about the game and stuff like that yeah that that makes a lot of sense um because when i think about when I think about just like in general, if it, when I was growing up also, I'm a few years older, I think. Um, but like, if you didn't have like the chess coach or someone mm -hmm. after games are done to like learn from, it's impossible. Cause it's just computers. I mean, personal computers, they weren't, they weren't really a big thing back then. So, so without having yeah. a coach or someone to kind of guide you, you're, you're just gonna, you're, you have to do it yourself. And that makes it really hard. Yeah, it was tough. I was in like, uh, a chess a chess school that i would go like once a week sometimes mm -hmm. and it was like it was like a, a group class though so sometimes they'd go over like people's games but yeah i never had like a a real path to like becoming a legend but yeah it was it was still a it was still a super super fun time and hobby and, and passion um for the longest time but yeah it's definitely it's definitely been super fun to to play and think about chess again and and try to get get back into it a little bit um uh -huh. i think mm -hmm. I, like oh i was just gonna say like yeah uh, when we played uh when you were in where you were in chat i was like i felt super rusty but i feel like i'm starting to like get a little bit better like every day that i play more so you're, you're a lot better you're a lot better like 1400 is uh, you're, you're much you're, you played much better than that in, in the games we played today the, oh, the only thing you didn't do do very well was you like you forgot sometimes and you brought the queen out too early but other than bringing yeah. the queen out early, like uh, you, you played really, really well. So I, I think like right now, at least based on what I've seen, you're you're the best uh, best streamer who plays chess. So you do have that oh, title for shucks. now. Let's go. No pressure, maybe no pressure to be fair. <laughs> Not for sure. Um, I was gonna say so with the bringing the queen out too early. It's just like you, you, you. Uh, she can be, be in danger easily right and then like it doesn't really develop like the rest of your board that's like right is, is I that say, why is that why um, it's like pretty bad the only combinations where it makes some sense is if you bring out the bishop and the queen to like say bishop c4 and queen f3 i don't know if you have the mm -hmm. board still open but yeah i'm looking I'm something watching. something along this these lines where you try to do like this let's just say i play knight mm -hmm. f6 and something with knight e2 in castles Something along these lines is still pretty reasonable, but these are the this is pretty much the only kind of setup that I can think of where normally it makes sense. Because usually mm -hmm. you want to just get your king out of the center first before you bring the queen out. Although yeah, to makes, your credit, I've I've told my chat quite a few times that one of the reasons I don't kind of like simplify some of the things I say is because it would hurt my actual over the board chess. But in mm -hmm. the last game, I think it was you kind of you 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 broke the rule where you brought your queen out early, but it mm -hmm. actually was like a good you broke the rule in a good way when you played queen e2 i think it was on move move five. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. because you uh, you you realized that you were doing it to, to to bring your king to the other side so yeah. so one thing that i say is always when you're when when you're learning chess you try to learn the rules and then learn how to break them like you learn a thousand rules and you learn how how to break them what the exceptions are and so mm -hmm. you broke the rule but it actually was very fundamentally sound in this case so you, you you made an exception which was which was correct got it let's go yeah also i kept trying to go for like little sneaky tricks on you but you did, it never worked i i was i was like okay he's blindfolded like maybe i could confuse him like hope he doesn't see something but 
Yeah, mostly can I it, mostly can I get can past, see that stuff. Can get past you. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I imagine, but I, I think it, it's worth a shot, right? Because if if I if I don't if I don't try to confuse you, I'm not gonna beat you like straight up. <laughs> right, but. right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I was. You you played great though. Even the black games, like the way you played in the last one, which was I think was the English. This knight c3, knight f6 g3 d5. This is also actually one of the main main opening lines that people play. I actually played this in the serious tournament last week uh, on chess chess 24. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, I, it's, it's all good and it's just very impressive and very impressive because you said when was the last time you you I guess played played chess online before. before uh, this? I think I played like. A year and a half ago i was playing a bit on stream mm -hmm. um i was also watching you quite a bit back then too and i was trying to improve uh and i was like okay i'm gonna get i'm gonna i'm gonna actually get good and i did that for like maybe like uh two weeks and then i just got really busy and i was like okay i'll, I'll just pick it because with chess for me like i've always actually picked it back up here and there just for like fun because i just like love it so much um through my life and then i'll just like put it down and then i'll come back to it um but i'm i'm like I actually want to get better this time, so I might I might try to play more and, and see what I can do, um, see That's, where I can go. Uh, you 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 played really really well. There's there's very okay, little that I you. can critique. What you would on. you say? What would you say right now? Besides just like playing more games online, like what would be something I could do, uh, like actionable to maybe try to improve from where I'm at? I would actually look or, at like look the, at some the easiest things to. Okay, openings. Yeah, because like the, mm -hmm. mm, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say just like uh like the class like the strongest like meta ones right now, or how should I like approach it? I would approach it from sort of a more like opening systems that are that are simplistic. So for example, you play e4 on move one, right? Yeah. That's my comfort zone. And clearly against e6 you play knight f3, d5, takes in d4. And like this this is a, a basic example where it's mm -hmm. something that makes a lot of sense because you can develop the bishop, you can castle the king, and you can move your bishops out. It's very easy to play. Mm -hmm. So this is a very good system, and I, I, I like that very much. It seems to me that like you need to come up with a system against all the various... So e6, you have a system against, against e5, knight f3, knight mm -hmm. c6. I would probably recommend that you look at this move bishop to c4, followed by pushing the pawn to d3. Mm -hmm. Because... What happens is you can still develop the bishop, but it's very easy to play. The plans are very straightforward in terms of castling your king, pushing the pawn to d3 or d4 um, with c3, and then just yeah. looking at looking at what the computers say are the best moves for both sides and going from there. Because if you can get to move 10 or so, or move 15 even, out, out of mm -hmm. the opening phase against, against mm -hmm. players who are, say, 17, 1800, I, I think you're going to improve a lot. Because it seems to me yeah. the big issues you have are, are, is in the opening phase of the game got it okay yeah actually that, that does sound like a that does that does, that, that does sound better i will definitely i'll definitely try i'll see what i can do man coach hikaru gonna yeah. turn me into a grandmaster let's go I, I mean the only other thing i would say is maybe a little bit of the tactics because there are a few things mm -hmm. you miss but overall even when i was watching this morning you're you're pretty sharp you're pretty sharp and I guess the thing that surprised, the one thing that I really was surprised by is normally when people have not like played chess or they haven't studied for a very long time, they tend to, they tend not to play well when there isn't a whole lot of time in the game. But you're playing blitz games and you're you're very sharp anyway, so that's that's also a very good sign in terms of of where where your where your skill is because most people when they haven't played for a long time, if they try to play anything that's fast, they have a lot of trouble spotting the tactics. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I actually I actually really like like the faster games. I think it's I, I definitely like make mistakes, but also like I know the other person is like on a clock, too. So I feel like if I can just like calculate out this, the scenario to like a, a high enough percent, like faster than them, like if they're like, you know, close in skill level, I feel like I can like capitalize on that decently. But obviously still a work in progress but yeah i do i do really like like the blitz faster games for sure mm -hmm. for that reason right right no that's you're just yeah very very good at chess it's, it's great great to play a couple of games with you uh i really enjoyed that yeah it was a blast i will i will play i will keep playing some more i'll try to take 
take the opening advice. I'll see what I can I can figure out. Um, hey, you're like my mom. She told me to read my chess opening books, and now you're giving me the same advice like 15, 15 years later. <laughs> Well, I, I, at least I'm, at least I'm not saying that you have to you have to be compar comparable to Daniel Narodisky because that is uh, <laughs> that's asking a lot out of any 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 child. Honestly, that's asking uh, that's asking she for all, perfection. She always she always she always said he's he's a legend. Like you you can you can be that good too. You just have to work harder. Just just study the game, and then I never I never <laughs> did. Feels bad. <laughs> Yeah. That's so cool that you that you guys are, are good friends though. I'll definitely have to tune in next time you play. Yeah, yeah, great. And yeah, I will say at some point once all these terms that I'm in are, are, are over probably like in a couple weeks or something, we can totally do something in league so you can you can show so I can at least show people that I'm not actually great at everything. <laughs> uh, hell yeah, that sounds that sounds awesome. We'll definitely we'll definitely do it. Sounds good, man. Great. All right. Thank you so much. I had a blast. All right, Thanks. for sure. Have a have a great stream. Thanks for playing with me. Thanks for having me and all the advice. Looking forward to our next uh, chess adventures and league. Peace, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. All right. All right. See you.